Meatloaf, the singer whose Bad Out of Hell album is one of the best selling of all time, has died at the age of 74. The news was confirmed on the star's Facebook page by his family. Our hearts are broken to announce that the incomparable Meatloaf passed away tonight. Surrounded by his wife Deborah, daughters Pearl and Amanda and close friends, his amazing career spanned six decades that saw him sell over 100 million albums worldwide and star in over 65 movies, including Fight Club, Focus, Rocky Horror Picture Show and Wayne's World. Bad Out of Hell remains one of the top 10 selling albums of all time. We know how much he meant to so many of you and we truly appreciate all of the love and support as we move through this time of grief. In losing such an inspiring artist and beautiful man, we thank you for your understanding of our need for privacy at this time. From his heart to your souls, don't ever stop rocking. The Dallas-born singer, born Marvin Lee a day, but also known as Michael, was best known for his Bad Out of Hell trilogy, which sold millions of albums worldwide. He released a string of other albums in the late 1970s and 1980s. Cher, who duetted with him on the 1981 track Dead Ringer for Love, recalled having had so much fun with the singer on the track. She wrote, Had so much fun with Meatloaf when we did Dead Ringer. I'm very sorry for his family, friends, and fans. Am I imagining it? Or are amazing people in the arts dying every other day? In the 1990s, his hit I'd Do Anything for Love, But I Won't Do That, was the UK's best-selling single of 1993 and earned him a Grammy Award. On screen, he played Eddie in the 1975 musical film The Rocky Horror Picture Show, was Bouncer Tiny in 1992's Wayne's World, and appeared opposite Brad Pitt as bodybuilder Robert Paulson in 1999's Fight Club. Bad Out of Hell, which remains one of the top 10 biggest-selling albums ever, alongside LPs by Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston and the Eagles, was also adapted as a stage musical, written by longtime collaborator Jim Steinman. 